Hi guys, back again with another video. Today I wanted to share with you my alkaline zucchini fries. These are really, really good. They're super easy to make. They're healthy and they just get baked. So let's do it. You just need some zucchini. I usually use to like, you know, I usually use two, three, four, depending on how big they are. I'm just gonna cut off the ends. Try to find enough to fill a large cookie sheet. While you're doing this, set your oven at 400 to preheat. And um, also make sure you have a cookie sheet. Um, what was I gonna say? Foiled, put some foil down and oil it. All right, after you do that, cut them in half. down the middle. Now we're going to de-seed them. It's really pretty simple. Not hard. You just take the spoon down the middle and get the seeds out. Try not to remove too much of stuff that's not seeds. Sorry I can't edit this to go faster. Like I said, as soon as I learn how to edit videos better. It's just it's a recipe that I really love and I wanted to share it with you. I wasn't going to record today, but um, this is just so good. And it's healthy. And it's Dr. Sabi approved. Anyway, after you de it, you can cut it into like fry strips and then toss them in a bowl because you're going to later um, season them. Bigger zucchinis will make bigger fries. These aren't a bad size. Simple as that. Get the other one's done. Oops. Sometimes a zucchini may be so thin that it ends up not having very many seeds on the other side. I'll hurry up and get these done as quickly as I can. See, there's only seeds on part of that. if I used a better spoon, more narrow, this would have been easier, but it doesn't matter, I guess. I'm going to think of something else to do with the parts that I take out. I thought about just adding it in a stir fry or something. Oh, this one stuff is a little bit more on there. The reason for removing the seeds is if you don't, the fries will end up soggy and just not right and the, the flour won't even stick to them it just ended up being a mess I think that's oh no I got two more Okay. 
All right, so now we're just finished chopping up the rest of these. It's all right if you leave some of them big like that, too. They don't have to be real thin. It's, it's a good idea not to make them too thin. We'll see how many I have in here, and then I'll see. I think I need more or not. do one more. We're not having a whole lot to eat tonight. Just um, zucchini fries and some butternut squash. And the butternut squash I'm going to cook like you do potatoes and onions. But I'm using butternut squash in place of the potatoes. I think that'll be pretty good. I was going to have zucchini fries and fruit, but I don't know. Decided I wanted squash. We haven't had butternut squash in a while. And it's so good. Yeah, these ones are difficult to get the seeds out. Because they're so narrow. Alright. Let's see. Let's get these chopped up. Whoa. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And here we are. Now we're going to add seasonings to it. We do. Oh one teaspoon of sea salt. And that's it on that. And then a one and a half, no, a half a tablespoon of onion powder. Let's see if I can get it out of there. Here we go. And then some oregano. I'm going to use um, oh, a tablespoon. Okay. I thought that I just used that for the other. Let me see what I use. Oh, so the other one was one tablespoon, not a half a tablespoon. I don't think I used that. No, it was a half a tablespoon. And then a tablespoon of oregano. You can add more onion powder if you want later. I might. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. And then, of course, cayenne. You add what you want of cayenne. I'm going to let you do it your way because it's hot. And not everybody likes hot stuff. All right, so now we're going to need some oil. Not a lot. Just a little. I'm going to use a tablespoon. Put that all over there. Right, now we're going to toss them to get them all nice and coated. You can toss them however you like. I like to use my hands because sometimes the uh, spoons break these. These can sometimes be a little delicate. Whoop. Time to get a fly away. And then let them sit for a little bit. So all that stuff can soak in. All that stuff just get nice soaked in and really marinate in there. All right, well, that's soaking in. Put that to the side. Now you're going to need some spelt flour. Not really going to need this anymore. We'll just cut and board out the way. 
All right. The spelt flour is going to be to coat them with. I just use um, Bob Rudd Mills spelt flour. Let me get a paint for you so I can show you what it looks like so you know what you're looking for. Anyway, this is what I oh, this is what I use. Good stuff. All right. Um, all right. Let's do this. I start, you know, just a little at a time. I just try to eyeball it. This is a little under a cup. Um, that's about a cup right there. And we just want enough to coat them. I'm going to add a little bit more. I don't know. I think it's still about a cup. Maybe a little bit over. That should be plenty. I'm going to season this as well. All right, so one teaspoon of sea salt. I know it seems like a lot, but you don't end up using all the flour, and it'll get evenly dispersed. Um, half a tablespoon of onion powder. All right, and oregano, of course. Can't forget the oregano. Let's do a tablespoon of oregano. Okay, and some more cayenne. Again, use what you like, because we like it spicy. Now, let's see if I can get this out. Use this. Stir it up. Just want to get all that seasoning mixed around the best you can. That ought to do it. All right. Now, get your seasonings out the way. A, a nice big pan and make sure it's oiled. I like to put tin foil down. There's my pan. Let's see. There we go. I'll try to keep it in view for you the best I can. What I'm going to do here. Alright, so I'm going to take some of these zucchini. I'll put them in here like that. And I just shake it around. Use my hands. Whatever. Get them fully coated. Real nice. Tap them, tap it off. Lay them in the pan. Like so. Right next to each other. Just barely touching. This is the best way possible. Again, I wish I could speed this up, but I can't. Just follow along with me. We can do it together, and then the video won't seem like it's taking forever.
I'm starting to feel anxious because it's taking me so long and I can't make it go faster. I've tried some of the editing software out there, but I don't understand how to use it. You know, I can write a blog post and I can um, promote things on social media and work with companies and do other types of things that I do uh, with my blog, but I cannot edit, edit a video for the life of me. I hope this part is still in camera. I'm trying. Oh, if you hear anything funny in the background too, it's my son. He just got out of school not too long ago and he's in his room after he did his homework playing video games with some friends. Well, friends online. And my oldest daughter, she's working. And my oldest son, he's working. I only have one daughter and two sons. My daughter is 19. My oldest son is 23. And my youngest is 11. I am grateful every day and count my blessings every day that they are well behaved. Did not have a lot of trouble growing up. But they did not. I did not have a lot of trouble with them as they were growing up. See, look at that. We didn't even use it all. So, don't be too concerned about the salt. Hang on one second. Let me wash my hands. All right. Now, before we put them in the oven... We're going to put a little bit of oil on them. You can do it how you like. Oh, dear. How did I do that? I forgot some. What in the world? I just wasn't paying attention, I guess. we got to make room for them. There's not a lot, but I don't know how I did that. Let's try this again. All right. That in there. See, if you're not careful, they fall right apart. We'll just tuck him over there. And come on, give me space for one more. Let's put you over here. Oh, that's it this time for sure. Okay. My oil sprayer is not quite acting right today. But anyway, get drizzle some oil on it, however you want. I like to use this. Hopefully it's in the camera view. You know, they even have uh, these sprayers at the dollar store. I think you would use them for your hair. They're like different colors and stuff. I was thinking you could probably put some oil in there and spray them down. Yeah, this isn't coming out right today. Oh, got to get that flour off underneath my fingernails. Feels funny. All right, now we're going to put this in the oven, and it's going to go in there for 30 minutes. And that, that's, that's it. You take them out, and they're done that simple. While we're waiting on that, I'm going to make some butternut squash, but you don't have to stay with me for that. I'm going to clean up the stove and the video here, and I'll be right back as soon as the zucchini fries are done. If you'd like to see my recipe for the, um, what do you call it? the butternut squash that I cook like uh, fried potatoes and onions, let me know and I will post that. Alright guys, see you um, as soon as the guys, butternut squash when the video ended earlier, I meant to say when the zucchini fries are done, not the butternut squash, but that's what you see cooking right there. I'm taking the zucchini fries out of the oven right now. Here they are. Boy, did they look good. See that? Oh yeah. So there they are. These are the zucchini fries. And they are so good. Turn off the oven. See that? They're not. Look at that. Look at that. They are so good. Love them. Um, if for some reason they taste like 
they're lacking anything, like some salt, you can sprinkle it on as soon as they come out, just a little bit, not much, because it really doesn't take much to get them seasoned. Um, and you can also sprinkle anything else you want to on them, but boy are they good. They come out just perfect in 30 minutes. Remember, 400 degrees for 30 minutes. All right, guys, I'm going to finish cooking up this um, butternut squash, and then we're going to have our dinner, and I'll see you later. I'll insert a photo of my complete meal. It won't look very pretty, but boy, does it taste so good. This is just butternut squash chopped up. Um, it's cooking in grapeseed oil. That's the same thing I used on the zucchini fries. Um, and onions, sea salt, onion powder, and cayenne. That is it. And you just cook it down till it's nice and tender. Yummy, yummy. And it's sweet. Nice, sweet flavor. All right, I'll see you back with maybe an inserted photo of our meal or a video of our meal. Talk right, to you later. Here you is the final plating of my meal. Um, don't go by looks because, yeah, to the eye, maybe it doesn't look very appealing, but boy, does it have so much flavor. Don't be afraid to try new things. This is out of this world. You will love it. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. And let me know if you tweak it at all uh, with Dr. Sabi's ingredients. I'd love to hear of anything new I can do with this. And let me know if you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you tried it, if you liked it. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share my videos. Do it all. Um, thank you again for your support. See you again next time.